Hello everyone, welcome to Edgy Shrestha. Today we are going to discuss in detail about the Big Data Technology. Let us start with the Big Data Concepts and slowly we can navigate through the process of Big Data and the Big Data Ecosystem. What is Big Data? The term Big Data means Big means massive or high volume. Data means the piece of information or content. The data can be uh, generated as a collection of information which can be generated by the user interactions or uh, through the articles information or a piece of information which can be captured. In the fast moving world the data can be generated by the user information like user activity or user interactions in the social media networks and how the social media network uh, networking companies how they are typically dealing with this particular massive amount of data means they they collect uh, uh, the millions of users information and then they are storing all this particular information into the their systems they need the storage systems to store this particular data and they have to parallelly process this particular data to derive uh, the right information across the data. Suppose they are providing the uh, platform for login across the multiple users and uh, whenever we are logging into the social media network uh, networking site then immediately you are granted with the access to that particular site. It is searched across the millions of users database and then it immediately grants you the access. That means actually they are running the big data ecosystem in the back end to uh, make, you, make the process very fast, uh, faster process. So the big data system uh, which constitutes of the storage and compute to handle the massive amount of data. How to deal with the big data? In the olden days, we used the process of the sequential search for any kind of uh, information retrieval. In the sequential approach, it has to scan through the, all the documents in a sequential fashion. Uh, it has to navigate through each and every record and record, record by record uh, to identify the exact search. Then that is a time consuming process. Slowly uh, the big data concept which comes with the parallelized uh, thread concept like parallelism and uh, the same data can be splitted across like a multiple chunks and each and every chunk can be given to the sub task so that each and every task who can act like a uh, executor and uh, who would perform the search parallelly across the different multiple threads and each and every thread is operating like a independent uh, e system so that it can perform the search across uh, the each chunk of data and then if there is a match then it will update to the master stating that my job is done then the master would be updating to the remaining chunk uh, chunks stating that okay the task is already been accomplished so uh, we can stop this particular job that is how the process is uh, um, set like a parallelized way uh, to fasten the query response time to solve the user's request and applications of uh, big data. The big data is defined with the below characteristics. It can be explained with the 5 E's concept. The 5 E's which corresponds to the volume. Volume means the data size like uh, high volume of data we are going to uh, deal with and variety means uh, the different varieties of data which we are uh, dealing with. Uh, either it can be uh, structured data, semi-structured or unstructured data. Structured data which can be of uh, having the specified format so that uh, the data is representing like a relational type. Unstructured means uh, each is not having uh, any uh, defined uh, schema so that uh, the de uh, these big data systems uh, can uh, be dealt with uh, the unstructured data as well. And semi-structured is uh, nothing but a JSON, of JSON or XML kind of uh, kind of data formats which can be handled with the big data ecosystem. Velocity means uh, how often this particular query response is given to the user. Like uh, uh, with uh, uh, with what frequency the the results would be retrieved. How for uh, how fast then we are uh, uh, granting this particular application to serve like a uh, very fastest manner that constitutes of the veracity of the data. Veracity means uh, for every result so whichever uh, is querying through this particular platform, what is the quality of uh, quality of the results so which we are granting to it like with the utmost uh, accuracy levels. 
and value corresponds to the uh, val value of the data like each and every uh, piece of information which is uh, much more valuable and we should not lose it uh, while storing into the digital media then uh, this particular uh, data is treated like a confidential and then each and every value uh, should be treated like a very valuable and worthy information so that we uh, typically need to handle this particular data uh, uh, to provide it like a uh, very uh, safety through uh, information retrieval and also uh, like uh, we need to uh, consider this particular big data systems to handle this particular data to uh, make like a no data loss from this slide uh, the entire big data ecosystem can be explained in a better way and uh, in the left hand pane uh, we can able to see the different uh, source systems which talks about unstructured semi structured and structured data as we have discussed and uh, the next layer would be like a et uh, extract and load kind of uh, transformations and uh, here we uh, might need uh, the interactions to this particular data uh, data sources which are coming in and we have to uh, collect this particular data and then store it back into the hdfs ecosystem hdfs is is a hadoop distributed file system and where we can store uh, the files uh, uh, like a flat file storage into the hadoop ecosystem the concept can be explained in the later sessions and uh, uh, the next task would be like a distributed data processing where uh, we are introducing this particular processing layer where we can uh, serve uh, based upon the user requests like suppose if i need to query from the data then uh, we can able to leverage it with the map reduce programming or spark or any kind of hadoop engines and the normalized data structure which can be provided with the uh, high query language like uh, uh, this is the interface which is providing for the data warehousing background uh, with a zero coding and uh, uh, the scripting uh, persons like uh, who are expert in the programming uh, languages then they can able to uh, code uh, the map reduce programming or spark programming using the java scala or python way so that they can able to query from the hdfs ecosystem and then they can query the responses uh, on top of uh, the uh, data sources data and coming to the apis there are uh, plenty of uh, tools which can access directly from the hadoop ecosystem uh, which can be like uh, intelligence uh, tools and uh, bi tools and uh, the uh, the reporting tools which can directly interact with the uh, jdbc drivers or uh, odbc kind of approach uh, can be given as a interface layer so that these apis would communicate with the big data ecosystems and the data mining tools and rdbms which can be able to connect to it and uh, uh, we do have the scoop com component in place uh, which basically collects the data from the uh, hdfs ecosystem or hive uh, data warehousing uh, data warehouse tool and then uh, place the data into the rdbms and uh, for collecting the data from rdbms and uh, store back into the hdfs also it's like a two way kind of approaches we can uh, leverage this particular scoop tool for data uh, data transmit tool we do have the hps component uh for the nosql database where we can uh, we, uh, where we can write uh, or implement uh, nosql uh, kind of queries on top of the big data ecosystems and we do have the other hadoop products in place and uh, hadoop components which are in place uh, to solve the streaming uh, streaming components and all which can be covered in the later sessions this covers the overview of the big data ecosystems and we can uh, uh, we can discuss in detail about uh, uh, other big data ecosystems in a very detailed manner in the later sessions thank you